Thomas is a swimmer accused of cheating. It's not because she bent the rules or used illegal substances. It's because of her identity, because she is transgender. This is not fair, because it's not like someone would change their identity just so they could win a gold medal. Imagine if you're accused of cheating. It makes me annoyed, but even more if people only accuse me of cheating because of my identity. This story that I just shared with you, and many others like it, is why I choose to talk to you today about transgender youth's right to play sport and the gender categories of their choice. The reason I care is because I play a lot of sports. It's part of who I am, my identity. And if I can play sports, this would have a negative impact on my mental health. Imagine if you were told not to join a team because of your hair color. How'd that make you feel? This to me is essentially what sports governing organizations are doing. Denying people the opportunity to play sport in the gender categories of their choice, of what they love and may even committed their lives to. Research shows that sports have both physical and mental health benefits. Regular physical activity can, help, uh, can prevent against cardiovascular disease and diabetes, improve bone health, weight status, and cognitive function, and combat depression and anxiety. What is more is transgender youth is already facing an alarming mental health crisis with high rates of depression and PTSD. Studies have found that transgender youth is already threefold more increased risk of depression and suicide attempts compared to their non-transgender peers. Thus, the mental health benefits and community sport uh, of sports is crucial for this at-risk population. Talking to you today, I'm a realist. I know that I don't have access to big sports organizations, associations, and decision makers, but I do for a fact have access to you and perhaps other people watching this talk, which is why I'm asking you to raise awareness for your family, friends, classmates, neighbors who might be transgender. Sadly, research confirms that the majority of world countries do not accept transgender youth and adults in their chosen genders, altogether not to mention when they decide to participate or compete in sports events. As with everything new to society, exposure and awareness are a way to grow understanding and acceptance. In this case, for the rights of transgender youth to be seen, heard, and respected, which is what we all deserve, everyone deserves an ally. Who is an ally, you might ask? The definition of an ally is to unite yourself to promote a common interest. So, three steps to become an ally. One, be open-minded and understanding. Two, be someone they can talk to. And three, advocate for fairness and respect. Thank you.